Hey, welcome back guys. It sure has been a while. In today's video I would like to introduce those who are still using Cinema 4D's native render engine to Octane Render. I myself have been using this exclusively for a long time now, and I don't really see much of a reason to use inaccurate CPU rendering over faster and better looking GPU rendering anymore. Of course I know for example Octane can be intimidating at first and also costs extra money, but that's why I will show you how to install the demo first so we can give it a roll risk free. Also if you want to skip straight to installing the demo, just use the chapters marked on this timeline. So before jumping straight in, let's go over my three main reasons why you would pick Octane specifically. First of all, Octane is pretty easy to use. Don't get me wrong, you can dive in really deep and do complicated things with Octane, but you will already get good looking renders learning just the basics. A second reason that may come as a surprise to you is the pricing. At about $20 a month or less, it does come at a cost, but it definitely pays off if you use it professionally. I mean, it isn't that much compared to what you pay for Cinema 4D itself, right? The third reason that makes the Octane subscription worth it is the extras that come with it. Think of the Ambergen license, one free Kitbash 3D model pack every single month, and much more. On top of that, Octane isn't limited to just Cinema 4D, it also covers many other 3D softwares and has a standalone version too. Before you get your credit card already, I think it is a good idea to install the demo first, so you can check how well it works on your system and if it is something for you in the end. Good thing is the demo basically has all functionality, except for a restricted resolution of 1000 pixels by 600 pixels and a thin watermark on top of it. The live database with the preset materials is also not available in the demo, but you don't really need that. To be honest, for the first few months working with Octane, I only used the demo version and let a colleague do the full resolution renders with his license. Alright, let's take a look how we can get this installed. For this video I will focus on the Windows version, but for people with newer Mac systems that have CUDA or metal chips inside, it can also work. One important system requirement is that you have an Nvidia card in your Windows PC. At the point of recording this video, AMD cards are not supported so far and I don't feel like it will change anytime soon. To download the demo you have to pay attention getting the right link. We will put the link in the description below, but also make sure you scroll and pick the actual Cinema 4D plugin instead of getting the standalone version. Ok, when that is done downloading, you should figure out where your Cinema 4D install folder is located. Normally you should find it in your program files and inside the Maxon folder. Depending on whether or not you've installed plugins before, you will have a plugins folder in here already or you just have to create it manually. Before you continue make sure Cinema 4D is closed or at least restart it once you're done and now go inside the plugins folder and also get the zip file you just downloaded. You can just drag and drop the unzipped folder in here and that's pretty much most of the installation done already. What you should do now is opening the Octane folder and you'll see a bunch of files labeled with version numbers of Cinema 4D. You can delete all those that don't match the Cinema 4D version you're currently using. However, I've seen people that don't get the plugin working and having all the versions in here seem to work for them. I don't know why, but it fixed the issue for them. Ok, so now all you have to do is just opening Cinema 4D and let it boot up. And up here among the menus you should have the Octane menu. You can open the live viewer and even dock it somewhere between the other panels, clicking and dragging this grid icon and you're basically set to go. If you want to get a basic overview of how all this works, you can already check one of our older videos on here, but there will also be more tutorials coming using Octane in the future. I am excited to show you some of my tips and tricks in the coming videos, so I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.